everybody, welcome back to Shikwell's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here today to show you all three Ellen Villa wigs that I have just been obsessed with lately. So stay tuned for that. Before I dive in, I'm just going to remind you to like this post and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, so I can't wait to show you these three wigs that I am obsessed with lately. I have done reviews on on I think one of them, maybe two of them, I'll have to check back. But um, I just I just love them. <laughs> so I just wanted to compile this video into one to show you quickly each of these wigs and what I love about each of them. Okay, now before I show you the wigs, I'm just gonna talk really briefly about the brand Ellen Villa. So it is a German brand, that's why it's pronounced Ellen Villa, even though it's spelt W-I-L-L-E. A lot of people mispronounce it saying Ellen Wiley, Ellen Willy, <laughs> Ellen Willa. <laughs> There's all sorts of pronunciations, but it's Ellen Villa. And some things that I love about them and that they're sort of known for is that they generally do really low density pieces, which is so nice, especially for anyone who is experiencing hair loss and is used to having not a ton of hair on their head. Um, Ellen Villa does a really good job of really light fluffy fibers and low density pieces. She also does not use a ton of permatease in a lot of her pieces. It's a very um, minimal permatease or sometimes hardly any at all. And another thing to note about Ellen Villa wigs is that they generally fit a little bit smaller than average for the most part. So for someone like me who has a petite head size, I find I like to gravitate towards Ellen Villa wigs just because of those smaller cap sizes. Okay, let me start off by showing you this first one that I have just been loving. This one is called Elite and it's by Ellen Villa, of course. <laughs> and this is in the color Sand Mix. Now, Sand Mix is going to be a darker sort of ash blonde color, and then it's going to have some lighter natural blonde throughout it and a little bit of honey tones as well. It's a really nice medium sandy blonde color in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to run you through the cap really quickly for Elite. We have a left monofilament part. It's all wefting throughout the cap. Uh, we have velvet ear tabs, just a velvet nape, and a Velcro adjusters. This is such a lightweight wig. Like I'm feeling it and it is just, oh, it's like a feather. It's so lightweight. I feel like I'm holding nothing. Um, this piece also has a very low density. As I was mentioning before, Ellen Villa does make low density pieces, really light, fluffy, airy fibers. And this one is just that. I always have people asking me for recommendations on low density bobs. This is it. This is, this is the one. <laughs> this is the perfect low density bob. It is, it is amazing. I am loving how lightweight this feels and it is such a comfortable cap. It really feels like I don't have a lot on my head. There's also no permatease on this, none at the crown, none really at the top here, none throughout the wefting. It's just, a beautiful low density synthetic piece. Ellen Villa does really nice lace runs as well. Because they use such um, fine fibers, their knots are quite um, small, hard to see, and really natural. The only thing I don't love about this is that because it is synthetic, it does give off a little bit of a shine. I am not super into the shininess on synthetic wigs. I tend to usually gravitate towards heat defiant synthetics just because of the more matte finish of the fibers. Um, this one's not over the top shiny. You could fix this with a little dry shampoo, spray it all over the wig and it'll dull it down a little bit. And over time, the shininess will dull down, but out of the box, it can be just a touch shiny. And now, as mentioned before, Ellen Villa does tend to fit a little bit smaller than average. So this one is no exception. Um, it does fit a little smaller than average. Not to say that it won't fit an average person. It definitely will. There is still quite a bit of stretch in this cap and um, it's it's a good amount of stretch. So an average person could absolutely wear this or if you're a petite like me, this could work for you too. Okay, let me take off Elite and show you the other one that I am loving lately. 
and that one is Girl Mono. Girl Mono is just the cutest little wavy bob. The curls are just these perfect messy little ringlety curls. It has a lot of body and volume all while still being super lightweight on. It's just so cute. Okay, let me show you this cap here. It's sort of similar to Elite's cap um, in the sense that it has a lace front and a left monofilament part. It is open wefted all throughout the piece. Velvet ear tabs. This one has an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. Okay, well, let me put this on so I can show you how cute it is. Kind of reminds me of Shirley Temple. <laughs> okay, here she is. She's adorable. It's a little bit of a change from Elite that I just had on because Elite was this nice, low density, sleek bob with no permities. This one, on the other hand, does have permities. It's not extravagant. It's a nice um, fluffy and pillowy permities, and there's not like an insane amount of it, but there is enough in there and I believe it's needed of course to just help give the style um, the volume that it needs to help complement all these cute girls. All right so like I mentioned before even though this looks like it has a lot of volume and a lot of hair it's actually really lightweight on and the density it looks like a heavy density but it's a pretty medium density with really light fluffy fibers. Okay so this one does have your lace front here now with darker hair or darker fibers, you're going to be able to see the knotting within the lace. Um, however, this piece, it has this cute little side bang. So honestly, you're not even going to see that lace because of this cute little bang. So for me, it's not something that I would worry too much about. And then it has a left monofilament part. I haven't fully parted this one yet. It's still in a little bit of a zigzag, but that's what you're going to see. So again, you are sort of gonna see the knotting, especially if you have a darker color like this, but the lighter the fiber, the less visible the knotting will be. Well, let me spin for you. Oh, and I didn't mention the color of this. This is in the color Chocolate Rooted. So Chocolate Rooted is going to be a medium brown. It's got the color six in it. Um, and then it's highlighted with a 30, which is gonna be sort of like a reddish, um, coppery brown color that you kind of see throughout it so it's definitely warmed up with that and then it will have those medium brown roots which I mean aren't as evident of course because this is already a brown wig but they are there and it kind of gives the look of a bit of a grown out highlight and now in regards to the cap size this also fits smaller than average I would also say that this fits a little bit smaller than elite that I just had on um, I don't feel like there's quite as much stretchiness within the cap and not quite as much room within the rest of the cap here. So it does fit a bit smaller than average and even a bit smaller than elite. Okay, the third wig I wanna show you is one that I have reviewed before and I just, I'm clumping it in this video just because I love it so much. And that is this one here. This one's Esprit by Ellen Villa and it might be my favorite of the three of them. Okay, so Esprit is here in the color Caramel Rooted and it's gonna be sort of um, a dark blonde, almost your lightest brown, but I would say it's more of a dark, dark blonde with a bit of honey and kind of caramel tones throughout here as well. Even there's like a hint of more platinum too, I would say, speckled throughout this. And then we do have a warm brown root here. Okay, so why do I love this one so much? Out of the three I'm showing you today, this is probably my favorite one, and that's because the cap is so darn comfy. It is a hand-tied cap with some partial uh, wefting here. So the rest of it, though, is hand-tied. It's so comfortable on. It fits me like a glove. And then we do have a left monofilament part here with an extended lace front. I always love those extended lace fronts. Um, now I do mention in my review of this, if you want to learn a bit more about this wig, that even though it does have a left monofilament part, you can still part it wherever you want because the top is fully hand tied. So it does give you the flexibility and it does look pretty natural, um, when you part it other than on the left. Anyways, <laughs> I am putting this on. Oh, it is so cute. Okay. So here is a spree. She's got a beautiful lace front. She fits so good. If you are a petite like I am, this will fit you really well. 
Um, if you are a petite average, this will fit you really well. If you are an average, um, this will fit you around your circumference. I'm just worried more about your front to mate. I don't know if there's as much cap um, for you. I'm 11 and a half inches front to back. And oh, I don't know, maybe it could get up to 13 inches. I'm That's me guessing, but just know that the circumference could likely fit an average person, but the rest of the cap, it's already fitting me pretty good with a little bit of extra space, but there's not a ton of extra space. So just beware. If you are an average size and do have a spree though, then let us know in the comments how it fits you because I don't know, I would love to get like a prosthetic head so I can put these wigs on and just see how it fits different sizes. Wouldn't that be grand? But all I can tell you is based on my own measurements and my own head size, I am uh, 20 and a half inches in circumference. I am 11 and a half front to nape and 11 and a half ear to ear. But let me spin and show you this gorgeous thing. This is the lightest weight out of the three, even lighter than Elite, I would say. And that's because of this hand tied cap. Hand tied caps are extremely lightweight. This one is like, I'm wearing nothing on my head. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> If you want to learn more about Elite, then make sure you check out my review on her. Um, I will link it below so you can go and find it. And my brain is not telling me accurately right now if I have done a girl motto review. I can't truly remember. I know I've done a video on her doing something, but I think it was clumped in with some wavy wigs. But I will put that link below as well so you can see more of Girl Mono. I'd love to know in the comments which of these you love the best. Do you like Elite, the first one I showed you, Girl Mono, or Esprit? Which one would you try? And also, if there's any wigs that you're just dying to see, drop it in the comments below and let me know. Um, I can't guarantee anything, but I will try my best. And especially if I see some, you know, consistent requests, I will try my best to get my hands on some of them for you. But as always, thank you so much for being here and watching. I truly appreciate your support and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.